What's up, you guys? We are back today with another video. <clears throat> and this one is an awesome success story from the Neville subreddit called A Best Selling Book on Amazon. I myself have a personal interest in this because I, as you may know, I wrote an ebook and it's down below. You can download it for free, all about removing limiting beliefs, how to get rid of them, basically, how to stop intrusive thoughts, limiting beliefs. Beliefs being at the crux of it because a belief is a hardened thought form that you've thought over so many times that is now dominating the narrative of the story you were telling yourself. And your self-concept is based around your beliefs, right? So beliefs about who you are and beliefs about your environment and how you relate to your environment are very, very crucial to how we move about our, our environment, how we operate in the world. And I have an interest in creating more books. I want to make more books that are kind of on various topics, books on, I want to develop a kind of like a, a process where I'm able to create books. I'd be curious on what you guys would want me to create, but one on visualization, one that is all information that I've come across as far as the best techniques for scripting and really books that kind of like within the self-help genre that allow us to understand what it is that we need to in a, in a structured format um, that are the types of books that I wish were available that I had when I was, let's say, starting out or even right now. But with that being said, that's why this story is pertinent to me. And I think that for any of us that are on a sort of journey of trying to learn how to make money from our, our skills, from our abilities and online and do it in a sustainable way, I think this can be very inspiring and encouraging. So thought I'd share another quick We Success story for those wanting to publish their own books. Just like I said, I am trying to do. As you may know from my last post, I'm a business owner and I've been writing my book for the past six months, always with the intention of launching on Amazon and with the desire for it to be a bestseller. It's a pretty tall order right there. And I finally finished it last month and launched it last week, yay. It hit number one for its category on the first day and is ranking high in other categories I didn't even submit it to be in. I'm very happy with these results as I didn't spend a lot of time focusing on it and I had zero launch strategy for it. That's absolutely insane. That's wild to me. Maybe about two months ago, I roped slash scripted in my journal how my book was a bestseller and how easy it was to achieve it and that I didn't really do a thing for it to become a bestseller living in the end. I read it a few times after that and then dropped it once it felt natural, Sabbath. I didn't think about the book again until after I published it. If you're an author, you know how writing a book takes up most of your thought space and then when you go through the actual launch process, you're so focused on all the moving parts that there's no time to think about anything but your tasks. But on the day I published the book, that night I was going to sleep and I said to myself these affirmations. This book is a bestseller. It's a fucking bestseller. Oh my gosh, it hit number one on the first day. It's been on the bestseller list for months. I'm a motherfucking best-selling author. I don't know why, but adding cuss words into my affirmations really places me in the end state. And I think that's perfectly fair and valid. I've talked about this before, but adopting the language that's natural for us to use is going to be the best way that it imprints our subconscious. So the next morning I woke up, I woke up and bam, it was number one in its category a motherfucking bestseller. Hope that helps all you authors out there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, amazing post. I don't know how I would be so curious and I might leave a comment on here asking what all like what the writing process was like or like just any other information about it because how did it become a bestseller just from them writing it? Do they already have an audience? I'd be curious. Um, I would be really curious and I might ask them, I might do a follow up, but with that being said, guys, just this, this goes along with another video that I had today. And it's just like, how can we use what we're interested in already by following our curiosity, following our excitement, allow us to then generate an income for ourselves and also make an impact positively on other people. I think that that is the goal. And that's what I love about this post is that this, this person has been able to do that and experience amazing success with it. But anyways, much love as always. If you found this video helpful, drop it a like, 
hit me with a subscribe if you've not done so already, and I will see you guys in the next video.